so which ones should you get? Well, let me suggest the following. I suggest bristle brushes, you get number 2, 4, 8, and 12. Now the number 12 is a fairly large uh, brush and I suggest only use this brush if you paint on canvases which are 16 inches and up. If you're painting paintings that are usually 16 inches and under, the 12 brush might be a little big and it's not something which uh, is necessary. Instead of getting a number 12, I would get a number 0. The soft hair ones, I would get round ones just like, just like you see here, numbers 2, 4, and 6. This will come in handy when you have to paint small areas. As far as the shape goes, that's something really, really personal. I myself use flats. It just suits my style more, and it's uh, what I'm uh, what I'm most uh, most most comfortable with. Most people like to use filberts, though. They feel it gives them a combination of the flat brush and the round brush. And please buy the most expensive ones you can afford even if it means uh, to buy less buy the most expensive ones you can afford because they are the best quality if you buy cheaper ones they'll fall apart faster and you'll find yourself having to simply buy some newer brushes and spending more money on just buying more brushes more brushes so in the long run trying to save yourself money by buying cheaper brushes will end up costing you more. Uh, we should talk about the ends of the brushes too. This is the most important part. The paintbrush, the most important part of it is right at, at the end here. Now see over here, the hairs of this brush slightly taper out, outwards. Out over here, out over here. Whereas in this brush here, the ends slightly taper in. You want a brush that slightly tapers in. It gives you more control over your paint, and that's a very important thing. Do not buy one if you see the hairs tapering outwards.